welcome to today's video. I am beyond excited. I did a pre-order for the Unearthly Cosmetics Summer Mystery Boxes and my mystery boxes are here. I have no idea what is inside. I cannot wait to see. I have been patiently and patiently waiting for these. I'm pumped. Let's jump into it. <music> order these from Unearthly the minute they were available. It was a pre-order. So I knew that these were going to ship at the end of July. And I did order the small mystery box. And I also ordered the large mystery box. I did buy both of these myself. I do have an affiliate code with Unearthly. My code is Heather if you ever want to use it. But there have been spoiler videos posted. Unearthly did post a video showing the products inside in case you didn't want it to be a mystery. My friend Karen Harris has posted a video, but I have not watched anything. I want to be surprised. So we are going to unbox these together. You're going to see my reaction and then we're going to use the products, but what is in the boxes will determine exactly what we do. So I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to unbox the smaller box first, then I'll unbox the larger box and we'll go from there. All right, y'all let's unbox the summer 23 summer mystery box. This is the small version. This was $74 and then you can use a code on top. Now I have high hopes. Okay, let me let me make sure I can get my reaction with y'all because I think it's always fun to see people's reaction to mystery boxes. Okay, black inside, black inside. I have high hopes y'all. Listen, I collabed with Unearthly. I have high hopes. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Lip gloss and satin liquid lipstick. I see that on the tube. That makes me happy. And oh, okay. Highlighter duo eyeshadow pressed pigment palette. Look at the mushrooms on the packaging. That is cute. Okay. Let me take this stuff out of the package and we'll look at it together. Okay. Let's look at the little palette first. This is the eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette spaced out is what it's called. Oh, so excited. Okay. So the inner packaging looks like the outer spaced out is raised. <gasps> ah, that is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. One, two, three, four mattes. One, two, three, four shimmers. We've got a nice mirror in here. This is in Unearthly's Luxe packaging. I'm so happy. Y'all, you know my resurgence collection. Like I love highlighters, eyeshadows, gloss. I'm so excited. Oh, and a little bit of neutral. Oh, this looks like a multi-chrome maybe. Oh, we definitely have some duochromes, possibly multi-chromes. Okay, I'm pumped about this one. Okay, let's open the Space Out Highlighter Duo. All right, I have high hopes. Packaging looks like this. Spaced Out again is raised. <gasps> that makes me so happy. I love pink. I love a cool tone pink. This looks beautiful. And look, this one looks tie-dye. This one looks like it's going to have a lot of sparkle. Oh, I'm so excited. Again, I don't have to tell y'all that I love Unearthly. Like, ah, I'm so excited. Now let's look at these lip products. So I saw it said lip gloss. I did make my own lip gloss with Unearthly. I collabed for the shade Omen. Unearthly, y'all. Best lip gloss formula. Best. So good. So let's open this one. This is called Sweetness. I want to see what it looks like. It looks like a highlighter. It looks like one of the highlighters. It's that nice like Barbie pink. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm pumped. Honestly, this shade, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look at the satin liquid lipstick. That is another like favorite formula for me. Okay. The shade of this is called Smooch. So uh -huh, I want to see a mauve, a mauve pink. I'm so happy. I have used the shade Flirt in the Satin Liquid Lipstick from the Valentine's Day Mystery Box too much, honestly, because 
it is deeper than this, but I love those purpley pink mauvey tones. I just, on olive skin, the way it will contrast is so beautiful to me. So I'm beyond excited for these shades. These are my type of shades. I cannot wait. Okay, so for the small mystery box, although I do not feel like this is small, to get, what was that, an eight shan, eight, eight shan? <laughs> Eight pan palette, a highlighter duo, a liquid lipstick, and a gloss. $74 before the discount code. Like, am I happy with my purchase? Yes. Now we'll try it on and I'll be able to tell you even more how I feel. But so far, I'm very happy. Okay, now we have the large mystery box. This is a summer 2023 large mystery box 105. And then you can use the discount code on top of that. Now, I'm excited. These are sold out on the website, but they are going to be coming back in stock. I can definitely post about that if y'all want when they do, but this is what the large box looks like. So this like unearthly symbol is kind of like holographic in front of the clouds. So let's open it. I don't know what's in here. I'm hoping for a palette. I'm pretty sure a palette's going to be in here. Ah. Uh Look at that groovy. Look at her. Get groovy. So everything is called Get Groovy. We have an eyeshadow pressed pigment palette, a highlighter duo, two lip glosses, and another satin liquid lipstick. I'm happy. Okay, let's open this. Let's see what we think. Obviously, we're going to open the eyeshadow palette first. You know, obviously, we're going to open the eyeshadow palette first. So Get Groovy is raised. It's shiny. She's looking hot on the cover around her mushrooms. Okay keep my eyes closed because I want to take off this little plastic thing. Oh, so colorful. So colorful. Wow. Wow. Okay. And they're like corresponding. Oh, I'm into this. So good grief. This is going to have to be like a multiple look video. How am I going to do this? Okay. So purple like pinky red, we have orange, yellow, green, blue. We have equal number of mattes and shimmers. We have a little curated rainbow palette. Do we have some multi-chromes in here? Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Highlighter duo time. Let's see. Is that what it says, right? Yeah, highlighter duo. So, oh, let me pull out the little clear sleeve and warm shades warm shades more tie-dye print one that definitely looks like it has more like sparkle to it these look pretty oh this looks so pretty i'm down for a bright fun highlighter i'm just listen i'm living my best life over here we're gonna have so much fun today okay let's open the satin liquid lipstick and see what we have orange Oh, I know y'all are going to be so happy. So many of y'all love an orange tone. This is beautiful. It fits with the groovy theme. Like it's a very 70s color and it's like got this brown undertone it looks like. So this is called Gnarly. I'm definitely going to be enjoying that. I love shades like that. So let's look at the lip gloss. This is in the shade Psych. Again, I could have this lip gloss in every color under the sun. This formula is so good. Oh, that is like an orange, like orange, orange, like Halloween orange, which I'm excited about. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm having like new glosses and I'm having it from a brand that I love already. Oh, I'm so happy I purchased this. I mean, it wasn't a question. Like I knew I had to purchase <laughs> because I'm so obsessed. So let's see. Oh, what's this color? Spaz. Spaz. Let's see. <gasps> Purple 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 and not just light purple deep purple because i have glint and glint is much lighter than this and this looks like it has even more sparkle to it and it's a deeper tone oh i'm happy oh i'm happy about that okay what we need to do is i, I guess what we will do is we'll create two different looks it's gonna be a long day for me, but we'll create two looks. We'll create a look with the small box. We'll create a box, I mean, a look with the larger box. So we'll do two looks now that we've done the unboxing. But what I wanna do is swatch everything so that you can see close-ups, swatches, all of that. Let me prepare. Okay, y'all, I have 
gotten close-ups of everything. I want to go ahead and insert swatches for you so that you can see. Let's start with the smaller mystery box. This is the Summer 23 Smaller Mystery Box from Unearthly. I love that we have a palette, a highlighter duo, a satin liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. I am just super looking forward to creating a look with this, but you know, I do think swatches are fun. They can be a good way to see if something maybe has pigment, kind of how the shadows feel. You can see reflex, things like that in swatches. So I wanted to make sure that I did swatch this collection out for you. I really try my best to get the sparkle and things to show up, getting it in different form and stuff like that, using my camera, using my iPhone, using different lighting, a thing like that for y'all so that you can really truly see to the best of my ability to capture it at least. And then of course, we're going to try it on the face as well. But I also want to show you everything from the large mystery box. So this is the summer 23 large mystery box. We do have a larger palette in this one. We have a highlighter duo in warmer tones. We have another satin liquid lipstick and we have two more lip glosses. Once again, I just want you to see everything nice and up close. I want you to see swatches in different lighting, show you that sparkle, you know, we can kind of see like how pigmented mattes are. Again, though, we will try it all on the face. We're going to do two different looks because I want you to see it all. I want you to see how they blend, see how you perform. I'm going to let you know, is this the quality that I expect from Unearthly? Are we getting those beautiful shimmers and shifts and shine? Are the mattes pigmented, but very easy to work with? We're going to do all of that. Of course, we're going to create really bright, really fun looks. I love that both of these collections have something different to offer. I thought that was really fun. Instead of having a small box and a large box that are the same, we have options. And I don't know about you, but me, myself, I love options. So we'll do a look with the small box. We'll do a look with the large box and we will have a good time. We will have a good time. I am going to prime my eyes. I, listen, if my makeup looks a little messy when I zoom y'all in, don't judge me. This morning I saw tracking, I saw my box was coming today, so I went ahead and did foundation, concealer, powder, brows, and I just have on my unearthly lip mask on the lips. I want to bronze a little bit more, but I went to lunch with my best friend since we were in sixth grade. We went out to lunch today. We had a good time. We had creme brulee. We were just, you know, having a good time. I may need to powder up a little bit in a bit, but I'm going to zoom y'all in and we will start. What should we start? Let's, let's start with the spaced out. Let's start with the smaller box. Let's create a look. Okay, so I went ahead and put down my Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer in the shade Ignite. And I want to use a couple of shades. I want to, well, I want to use more than a couple, but I want to start with this pretty, like, orangey peach shade right here called Peachy. And then I want to try Spaced Out, this pretty mossy, I don't know if it's a mossy green. It's kind of like subdued, like a little desaturated. So I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this one. Let's try those two, peachy and spaced out. Okay, I'm starting first with peachy and I'm going to put this in the front part of my socket. So right in here, I'm using my unearthly brushes. These are their green brushes. So I'm just going to sweep and blend like that. And this shade is giving me exactly what I want it to give. That is beautiful peach. Like that is really pretty. I am going to take my time making sure I have a nice blend, nice pigment. My lids are a little dry today. I'm not going to lie. I um, did not did not take care of my skin last night. I put on my Tetranoin and then usually I'll wait a while and then I'll put on like my moisturizer. 
and I ended up getting into bed, falling asleep, not thinking about it until this morning, and I woke up and I was like, uh, this is not good. <laughs> I'm dry. So, I will say though, like my lids are dry. I was nervous about applying a shadow, but you can't tell. Like, that is beautiful. It's not like exemplifying. <laughs> emphasizing any texture or anything like that it's looking beautiful so let's go in with the green now I'm gonna grab another unearthly brush and we're gonna go into spaced out and I'm gonna put this in the outer half or outer part of our socket so we're gonna have kind of these two different tones going on and I'm just you saw like first started off with pressing and now we're going to be blending. So I'm coming down, out. I want this look to come out here. So you see I'm kind of like blending off of the lid. Let me move my hair back. And I'm just gonna blend out, out, out like this. All right, I want to play with the other two mattes. I wanna play with this beautiful blue navy stoked and cool beans this like really dark rich cool toned brown shade so let's let's use it that way we'll use every matte in this palette i'm going to pick up the shade stoked and we'll put that on the lower lash line oh yeah that is pretty so I'm pressing it on and then blending it a bit to really bring out that blue. That's really, really beautiful. So instead of like packing it, I want to blend because I almost want to not shear it out, but I want to blend it enough that it lightens up a little bit as it comes like lower so you can really see the navy aspect to it okay now i'm gonna grab a sigma brush this one's from my favorite set and i'm taking cool beans and this is like a blackened brown it is really cool looking and i'm just keeping it right out here on the lid in the outer portion and then blending up and out. And I'm going to just be very careful with my blending motions. I don't want to over blend like here with the peach to the green. I want that to be like peach to green. I don't want to blend so much that it muddies up. And here I want this to be distinctly like green. Then I want to move to the kind of deep dark blackened brown shade and then I want to move to the navy blue you know like I don't want to over blend and have these colors just kind of like melt into one another and muddy them up I'm just really going to be a little slow take my time blending and I'm not in a rush like I'm enjoying the makeup process having fun because next we're gonna play with these beautiful sparkly shades okay I want to go in with some shimmer on the lid we're gonna try to use all three shimmers I would like to use every shade in this palette I think I can so we can really just just get them all on the ads you know so I'm gonna put down on the lid my glimmer grasp from unearthly and then the shades that we'll go in with oh, these are really really pretty shades Oh, we have some really nice options. Let me think, what do we wanna do on the lid? Okay, let's go in with smooth shroom, sorry, shroom first. And then we'll go in with jazzed. This looks like a yellow gold head on, but as you can see in the mirror, it kind of shifts to this green. I mean, I know y'all already saw the swatches through the power of editing, but we're gonna play shroom and jazzed. All right, I've got a little of that gl glimmer grasp. I'm just going to kind of paint this in little strokes on my lid. I'm going to leave the outer corner shade with that cool beans. 
mat out here and then we're going to start with shroom. Okay, so I'm going to put shroom down right here in the center and then out a bit. Again, leaving the outer corner matte, but just blending that. And you can see, wow, that has some beautiful reflex. That is looking so gorgeous on the eyes. Wow. Okay. I didn't really, I don't know what I expected with this shade, but I didn't expect to see this much like shimmer and shine. That's, that's really beautiful. Oh, I'm happy. Let's take the shade Jazzed now. Again, these green and black brushes are unearthly. And I'm just going to put that on this inner part of the lid. That is a shade that is going to be really versatile, I think. If you like to just have a neutral look, you know, if you like to play in color, but maybe you just want something simple sometimes, this shade, I feel like it's going to be beautiful if you just take this all over the lid and then take this cool bean shade and use it as eyeliner. It's going to be very simple, very pretty. It's going to lean very neutral because this gold in this shade that kind of shifts to green is really beautiful. And you could just use those two shadows to get a neutral, but not boring, not basic type of look. Because this definitely has a little bit of shift to it, but it does kind of pull that gold green that I think is really pretty. Okay, I'm so into it. I'm so into it so far. So into it. I want to use these other two shimmer shades. This green looks really beautiful. It looks like it has this pinky purple kind of sparkle into it that I think is going to be beautiful. So this is the shade Good Vibes. And then we're also going to play with this like hot pink to kind of like rose gold shade called Dreamy. Let's start by putting the shade Dreamy on the inner corner. These two shades, I'm not going to use that Glimmer Grasp underneath, but I am going to spray my brush after I pick them up with a little setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you like, you can use. Okay, so I sprayed my brush after I picked up the shadow and we're going to pop that right there. That's beautiful. Now it's just going in this little space of my inner corner, but I think that is super duper pretty. Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. And then I'm going to grab this angled brush and go into good vibes. After I pick up my shadow, I'm going to spray my brush and we're going to add a little bit to the lower lash line, not all the way, but a little. Okay. I don't know if I pointed out before, but all the palettes do have mirrors. So I'm just going to paint this Good Vibes shade on top of that beautiful navy blue. So I'm going to start right here, kind of in the inner part, and kind of drag it out. But it's just going to stay right in this small space. So we're not going to see a ton. It's just going to be that little bit right here. Yeah, that's super duper pretty. Okay, I'm going to put on, well, I'm going to do the same thing over here, and then I'm going to put on eyeliner. I'm going to put on a lash. I'll come back because we do have the highlighter duo to use and the lipstick and lip gloss. All right, y'all, here is the eye look, how it came together with liner and lash. I did grab my Unearthly Cosmetics Black Liquid Liner. I lined the top lash line with that. In the lower waterline, I decided to go with a blue liner to complement our shadow. So this is the Milk Makeup Infinity Liner in the shade Time. And then we're going to do lips we're going to do blush. So I pulled my unearthly lip pencil in the shade Carnage and I grabbed a blush, a single blush in the shade Sha. I want to put down a blush before we go in with our highlighter duo. My 
Lash is intangible lash from Unearthly. So let's grab a brush and let's go in with this Sha blush. This is one of their singles and I'm just going to blush up because I only had on bronzer from earlier today. Okay, so there's our blush. It's this pinky color, maybe a little coral leaning. And we're gonna go in, nope, that's our palette. <laughs> we're gonna go in with our highlighter duo. So I thought maybe we'll do a, a highlight on each cheek so you can kind of see them separately. And then I'll blend together in the end to make sure I have like a cohesive look. But let me grab my brush and we'll do fab first. So we'll do the one that looks really pink in the pan. I'll pick that up on my brush. I'll kind of put this right here. This looks like a really pretty, just like true pink. Like this little duo is definitely giving Barbie vibes. I'm here for it. So there is what the highlighter looks like on this cheek. Super duper pretty. It would also be really pretty just as a blush topper, you know, put your blush on, then just use the same brush, pick up a tiny bit of this, sweep it over your blush, and that would be really beautiful. But let me kind of wipe my brush off on my Sigma Switch and we'll go in with the other highlight. Okay, so whoops, <laughs> you can see like how bright it is. So that was the shade Fab. And we have that right over here. We have a nice little mirror in here. I wanna go in with this shade that looks kinda like Tada. This is called Chill Pill. So I'm gonna pick this up on my brush. Let me move my hair back. Oh, that has sparkle. That has beautiful, beautiful sparkle to it beautiful on the face also really beautiful on the eye in my opinion like kind of tapped over a shadow you know i would really like to try this with the hot pink from my palette nymph i think putting that pink shade all over the lid and then topping over it with the shade chill pill would be beyond beautiful Okay, so here is that highlight shade right there. You can see the beautiful sparkle. So that is Chill Peel. Over here we have Fab. More smooth, more sparkle. Okay, I'm gonna blend these together to kind of even out my look. I'm gonna line my lips with Carnage and then we will use these lipstick and lip gloss. Okay, so we have the highlight mix now and I have that lip liner down. I'm very excited because there's not a shade like this color smooch in the Unearthly Satin Liquid Lipstick line. And this is one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever. Like I put this in my yearly favorites. I think it was 2021 or maybe 2022, but it has this cool like snow globe top to it. The applicator is like hugs your lips so well. I don't know. It's just really beautiful. So I am excited to put this color on. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. It's definitely more pinky than the shade flirt. It's definitely more pinky in tone. Whereas flirt is more purple. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is honestly a gorgeous shade. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay. I am pumped to have this shade in my collection. Okay. Here is the satin liquid lipstick. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I know I will use this shade a ton. I love this type of color. So now we're going to use the lip gloss in sweetness. This shade is really pretty pink. It looks like it has some really pretty different reflex in it. This shade is much cooler in tone than Cupid, I think it is. And then it's just more pink than any of the other glosses. So Cupid definitely has a little more warmth to its to its pink than this shade does. So I'm gonna open this. Oh, it's on there tight. And we're gonna gloss up. Okay, we're gonna apply this. 
if you have never tried an unearthly lip gloss I would compare the formula very much to Pat McGrath very glossy not sticky beautiful beautiful formula so let's see oh that's got sparkle that is stunning that's a shade I will definitely definitely get a lot of use out of all right y'all here is the finished look if you could not tell I am very happy with it now of course this is a first impression I will be following up after I've tested and tried these products more but the palette love every shade in here performed beautifully I love that we have a mirror I like this compact size I think you can do looks like just with two shades mix the shades ma match them up do what you want wear all of the shades like I did I think this is beautiful I really like this size too do you see how big it is compared to my hand like really really nice here it is compared to the highlighter duo like really nice packaging I really love the formulas inside of course super happy with this highlighter duo I am gonna get a ton of use out of this and of course the lip colors the formulas to these products I already know and love so I'm happy to have new shades oh I'm just I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so happy and it makes me excited to try the larger box too so we'll definitely do that next but the shimmer the shine the way these products look on the skin and this lip color I am just feeling it I will link this box down below again it does sell say sold out right now but I know they are going to be coming back I'll also link the other stuff that I used you know just in case you're curious I try to fill up the description box as much as possible with as much information as I have so yeah I am filling my look but I do want to share a look with you with the larger box. Hold on, I, I set this on the floor. Let me grab, let me grab them. And this is what the outside box, I know you saw at the beginning, but this is what the outside of this small box is. Really beautiful, definitely keeping this box for stuff. But okay, we do have another look. I just, I love this one. <laughs> let's let let's jump into look number two though we are back for look two and we are going to play with the items from the large mystery box now I thought for this we would start with the highlighter duo I do have my makeup done except for eyes lips highlighter so for blush I'm wearing the tangy blush single I thought the orange blush would be pretty with this like get groovy collection so I'm gonna take the duo and we'll do like a shade on each side like we did with the smaller box so let's start with this shade right here in your dreams I'm gonna use my unearthly brush I'm gonna pick that shade up and we'll put this here that's pretty it has this beautiful like gold sheen to it it has some really pretty like shimmer sparkle to it yeah that's really really pretty I like that a lot I feel like it looks glowy I really like the way it looks on top of this orange blush so I'm gonna clean this brush off and then we'll put the other shade on this side okay let's jump into the shade slick so this tada is more of like an orangey gold whereas this one right here is kind of like a orangey gold green so I want to oh, this one is way more sparkly that's stunning now listen I picked up a good amount on my brush you can definitely get a more toned down look than this but I'm really wanting you to see how it looks on the face kind of like being heavy-handed you know so there is the highlight so here we have in your dreams and here we have slick I'm going to kind of blend them together so I can get a cohesive look 
I just wanted to do a C from side to side, but we'll do the lip next. So since we have this orange satin liquid lip, this orangey brown color called Gnarly, I'm going to use my Unearthly Fiery Lip Pencil to line my lips. I'm just going to wipe off this Unearthly Lip Mask I have on and we'll apply the satin liquid lip. Okay, so Fiery Lip Pencil is on. Now we're going to go in with our satin liquid lipstick. That's really pretty, a very grungy brown orange. Uh-huh. Yeah, that is really, really pretty. Okay, let's get this on so you can see on the lips. All right, here is our satin liquid lipstick in the shade Gnarly. Now we have two glosses, a purple gloss and an orange gloss. We're gonna use Psych today with this look, but this purple I'm very excited to wear in the future. Again, it's a lot deeper and just a darker tone than the shade Glint. So I'm really looking forward to using that, but let's apply our Psych Gloss. This one's very, very orange. And it has a really pretty sparkle. Oh yeah, I really think that looks cool. Put some up here, see that beautiful beautiful gloss it kind of brought some like brightness to the liquid lip so i'm excited to keep playing with it i'm gonna zoom y'all in a little closer i'm gonna prime my eyes for shadow and we are going to play with the get groovy palette we have our rainbow shades and kind of different like levels of a depth and it's so pretty, like it's so pretty. So I think what I wanna do is kind of play with the yellowy orangey tones. The highlighter has that kind of yellowy orangey gold feel, the lip. I think we'll keep things kind of monochromatic. Of course, I'm gonna be playing with this palette in the future, like of course, but I'm not gonna try to do all the shades today. Um, I'm gonna start, I think. I think we'll start with the orange and then we'll go in with yellow. So groovy and then far out. Okay, so I put down my MAC Paint Pot eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna start with my unearthly brush and I'm going to put this orange all in the socket. So I'm gonna bring it all the way around kind of like tracing out my eyeball right here back and forth before i go in with the yellow i actually want to dip into the matte green called stellar and this looks like such a pretty like kelly green shade like almost like the color of the brush bristles i want to put this on the lower lash line and kind of like just blend back and forth like this and then we will go in with that matte yellow okay so i've got that yellow matte shade picked up now and i want to start by putting it like on the outer kind of perimeter of the orange and the green and just kind of lightly blending this is a more fluffy brush so it's just going to kind of blur that shadow on. I'm going to bring just a little bit right in here, but I want the most of it to be out here. So it kind of fades to this yellow. I'm going to add a little more on my brush to come underneath, and then I will take it also under the lower lash line. So just like this, having that little bit of yellow there. Okay, I'm really happy with how these three mattes are blending. I feel like they're pigmented and they're just really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with this blue shimmer called Chill. This looks like it has a really pretty like, like duochrome type of shift to it. It looks really sparkly. So I'm gonna pick it up on my little brush. I am gonna spray my shimmers. Every shimmer for this look, I'm gonna spray my brush after I pick up the shadow with a little bit of setting spray. Okay, so I'm gonna put this 
on the inner part of my lid right here. I'm going to bring it up, not to completely cover the orange, but right here. I'm going to keep it a little lower in the socket and I'm pressing it off of my brush first, like just pressing it on my lid and then I'll go and kind of blend and sweep to make sure I really get it off my brush like so. Okay, that's pretty. It's just in a small area, but it's really beautiful and I have a feeling that that shade would like kind of take on a different look and feel next to these like warm colors. So I'm pleased with how that's looking, but I want to highlight my inner corner. And to do that, what do we want to do? We've got options. Let's go in with a little bit of this shade, Fox. I'm going to take that and pop that right here on the inner corner. All right, right there, that is perfect. Kind of this fiery multi-chrome shifts really, really beautifully right there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. This is going to be a really, this is going to be a cool like color combo. I'm into this palette. It's making me feel creative. Okay, let's add in another matte. Let's go with Out of Sight. This really pretty kind of like maroon burgundy type color. I'm going to pick this up on my unearthly brush. All right, I'm going to stamp this in my outer corner. Really pretty. I'm using more of a fluffy brush because I want to kind of slowly build up the color and I want to be able to like blend easily. I don't want this to be too, too intense. So I'm just going to kind of lightly blend. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. Those work super well together. All right, just gonna blend like this. And then we're gonna do another shimmer. I wanna put a shimmer right in the center. And I really want to use this shade right here called Peace Out that pretty pink raspberry type of color. I'm going to, again, pick this up on my brush and I'm gonna spray my brush and then apply it just to the center in between the matte and that like light blue shimmer we used. Okay, I'm putting that right here in the center and I'm into that. Okay, I am really feeling that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to do a liner and a lash, and then I'll come back, show you how the look came together with that instead of this with no liner and no lash. And we'll kind of talk about, again, just my first impressions on this box. Y'all, <laughs> this is one of my favorite looks I have done lately. Something about the pinks and the orange, the yellows with the green, with the little bit of blue, like I'm so feeling myself. <laughs> like this is, th this, this is a beautiful collection. Again, just my first impression. Of course, I'm gonna keep working with this makeup, but like, I feel so great in this look. I'm, I'm like, mm, mm, I'm really feeling it. So, <laughs> I did put some of my Milk Eyeliner. This is the black shade Outer Space in the lower waterline. But on the upper lash line, you can see I used this, like, shifty multi-chrome liner. This is the shade Jinx. This is the Immortal Liquid Liner. Again, I'll put everything in the description box, you know. And then for lash, this is the Supernatural Lash. I just trimmed them so they're not quite as like long <laughs> on my eyes. Like they don't come in as far. 
I'm so feeling this look though. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the looks. I really wanted to do a look with each box once I saw what was inside. I just felt like we needed to swatch it all. We needed to try it all on. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, did you pick up these boxes? Are you planning to pick them up when they come back in stock? Are you on a low buy and no buy? Are you gonna shop your stash? I'm just like, mm, I'm so feeling my look. I was feeling look one as well. I hope you're having a great day. Please subscribe so my videos will keep showing up on your subscription feed if you don't wanna miss out. I have lots of videos coming to you this week and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye!